So one of your areas of research is sexual selection and reproduction in dinosaurs. What have you learned about the sexual variation in dinosaurs? It's not so much the question of dinosaurs, it's the question of how we study biological variation, including sexual variation, in the fossil record. So the further I've gone down that avenue, I've actually gone more and more into sort of just pure statistics. And it sort of stems from sort of the sociology of paleontology. Um, very early on, you know, proposing differences when you find one fossil and it's got a large dome on its head and you find another one and it's got a flatter dome on its head. Originally proposing that that might be sexual variation, otherwise known as sexual dimorphism, was fairly common. Uh, and then I would say within the last two decades probably, uh, there's been pushback on that, sometimes for very good reason in the sense that very often these early papers didn't really use anything in the way of uh, sort of statistical or quantitative approaches at all. But then we ended up in this situation, at least in my opinion, and other people might disagree, in which for one group of fossil reptiles, dinosaurs, sexual variation and what you might call sort of traditional or typical sort of sexual selection patterns kind of went out of style. 